Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Rolston and I'm very proud to be joining the Free From An Allergy virtual show this year. You've probably guessed from the ingredients in front of me here that we are doing some baking for today's recipe. Now I have selected a recipe that was put out on the Free From An Allergy community Facebook page. We had lots of great requests uh, for recipes, but the recipe I have selected, we had a request from Narelle to do some gluten and dairy free scones. Um, so Narelle, ooh, glitter falling down. You are also the winner of the Coles gift card. So we'll get the prize part uh, out of the way now. So Narelle, the Coles team and the free from analogy team will be in touch with you to get your voucher out to you. Um, and yes, so we are doing gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, egg-free scones, uh, but they're still super light, super fluffy, super delicious, and we're gonna do a really quick uh, chia seed blueberry jam to go with it because you cannot have scones without uh, some jam, and we've got some coconut yogurt to serve with this. So some really simple swap outs. Um, these ingredients are all available at Coles, um, and they're really, the reason I chose this recipe is because uh, I feel like 2020 has been the year that we've returned to those nostalgic recipes. Everyone's baking bread uh, and cooking at home, and I just think this is a nice recipe made from lots of pantry staples, um, and it's nice to revisit the past um, of making scones. So to start the recipe, I need three and a half cups of gluten-free self-raising flour. So I've got a mixing bowl and we're just gonna pop three and a half cups of our flour in. Three and a half. That may, leaves me a little bit for dusting later. That's perfect. Pretty much a whole box of our Coles gluten-free self-raising flour you'll need for these scones. I'm gonna pop a pinch of salt in because that's what my nan used to do. And my nan always used a butter knife for the scones. So just make a little well in the center. And these are like three ingredient scones. So I have got a cup of lemonade. So the lemonade acts as a rising agent and a sweetener in the scones. So a cup of lemonade can go into a mixing bowl. And to that, I'm adding a cup of coconut cream. Now this is obviously dairy and gluten-free coconut cream. So one cup of each. Give that a mix. And I'm gonna pour that into our bowl. Pour that into the center of the flour. And using a butter knife, just really gently turn and fold that flour mixture into the lemonade and the coconut. Be really gentle. If you work this too hard, you'll have hockey pucks and not scones. So this is what you're looking for, kind of a craggly, uh, rough dough mixture. You don't want it super smooth because that means you've overworked it. And then all I'm going to do is to pop this onto my board. So we've got that little bit of extra flour. Sprinkle that on the board and tip out your scone dough onto your floured board. Really simple, no fancy equipment. Anybody can do this. You don't want to knead the scones. You just want to kind of maybe three, four, five or six times, just kind of bring the dough together in a really gentle, caressing way. You've got to be quite gentle with scones, particularly because these are gluten-free. You really don't want to overwork that gluten-free flour. Pat that into a rough kind of rectangle. Now my nan used to cut scones with a cutter but it ended up wasting a bit of the dough or overworking some of it if you tried to reuse the other stuff. So I think just patting it into a rectangle and then cutting it. You can make them as big as small as you like. Maybe we'll go that, two, four, six, 10. Cut them out and then you can just roughly shape them with your hand. And I've got a tray, we're just gonna pop these onto a tray. So take them off, 
just really gently put them into a round so you have a nice, really soft scone. That's what you're looking for, nice, soft. Put them close together on the tray and they will help each other kind of, they will push into each other and help each other rise up when they're in the oven. Now that we've got all the scones onto the tray, uh, my nan used to just put some milk on the top, but because we're going dairy free, just some of the coconut and uh, lemonade mixture that I've got left over, just gently rub that onto the top of the scones. This will just give a nice smooth brown top to our scones. All right, scones are looking good. My oven's set at 200 degrees. You want quite a hot oven to get these nice and puffy and light. Uh, these will take no longer than 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, I'll do a bit of a clean down and we'll come back and make that blueberry chia jam. This is perfect timing while the scones are cooking. We can make this quick blueberry chia jam and it really is quick. There's no kind of waiting for sugar to set this jam. It's a really low sugar jam. We're relying on chia seeds to be our setting agent in the jam and our thickener. So a heaped tablespoon of our Coles white chia seeds are going into about half a cup of water. Uh, they will soak up about 10 times their own weight in water. They're packed with omega-3, so if you don't love salmon, they're a great thing to add into recipes. But they're also great because they kind of have this gelling agent to them. So when I've started off with the water, they're just kind of floating on top of the water. But if we give that like a minute, the chia seeds will start to soak up all of the water and they'll start to turn into like a gel. And this is what gives us that really uh, lovely jammy consistency with our blueberry mixture. So I've got uh, about a cup and a half of gorgeous blueberries, love them, they're slightly sweet, slightly sour. I'm popping them into a pot that's just on a low flame. You could scrape um, half a vanilla bean pod or I've just got some vanilla bean paste. You just want a dash, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla. About a quarter of a cup of maple syrup. Uh, this keeps it vegan, if you um, are not vegan, uh, you could just use some honey or regular sugar, but I like uh, using maple. It's got a lovely caramel flavor and it's naturally vegan. This is what you're looking for with the chia seeds. You see they've gone really thick and they've started to take on all of that water. And you can add the chia seeds in with our blueberry and maple and vanilla mixture. Give the jam a stir and that just needs to simmer for about anywhere from six to 10 minutes. Or when you see the blueberries release their gorgeous purple color and those chia seeds have thickened up. So jam is done and our scones are done. There's only one thing left to do and that is just to get some of our coconut yogurt and jam onto them hot scones. Now of course, I am not gluten free myself. I've done a lot of work uh, with coals and gluten-free cooking uh, over the years. Cooking for a football team, I cook for 70 players and coaches, uh, and I have about four or five boys that are gluten-free, and I've got three or four that are vegan. So while I'm not vegan or gluten-free myself, um, I know the importance of these allergies, especially cooking for a professional football team. Um, and this is like, this is not about what you can't have. This recipe is all about what you can have. There's still so many great recipes you can have. You've just got to know the tweaks um, to put into them. So you can still have a really low sugar jam. Just those chia seeds and the maple syrup will be your best friend. Scones, yes, you can have them. Gluten-free flour, coconut and lemonade. So I'm not going to deprive myself of having hot scones in front of me and not cut into one. crunchy on the outside, really nice and light and fluffy. And you can see, nice and piping hot. I will go jam first. I know there's controversy over jam on the top or the bottom. I'll go jam on the bottom. And I'm using some of the Coles coconut yogurt, which is also dairy free and gluten free. So 
So there we have it. Narelle, you asked for a gluten and dairy free scone. I really hope I have delivered something that you think, yes, I wanna make that. These do look pretty good and I can tell you they smell really, really fantastic. A really simple like pantry staple recipe. Um, that is my gluten, dairy, egg and nut free scones with that really quick, delicious, psychedelic blueberry chia jam. I will be crossing live to the Free From An Allergy virtual show at noon on the 26th. I'll be answering any of your questions you have about this recipe or any other tips on gluten-free cooking or whatever questions you might have. I strongly encourage you to join the Free From An Allergy Facebook community page if you are suffering with allergies. There's loads of members on there that can help you uh, and give you tips and share ideas and that's what cooking um, is all about. There are loads of other fantastic speakers that are coming to the virtual Free From An Allergy show. So make sure you check out the program. I really hope you like this scone recipe and I will see you at noon. Pop on the kettle maybe make a batch of scones before you tune in uh, to my q and I'll see you at midday on the 26th. Cup of tea, scones in hand, and we'll have a chat then. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Mmm. I can confirm, they're very good.